Hey everybody, welcome to Snarkade, once again. This time we're playing Long Live the Queen. My name is Reed. And I'm Caitlin. And I'm really excited about playing this game uh, for a few reasons. First, I get to drive because it requires zero skill. Well, almost zero skill to, you know, play this game. Um, Only strategy, no skill. Yeah, I mean, I mean like technical, you know, pressing strategic buttons. Strategic aptitude. Thank you. Um, I've also heard this, I've never played this game before, but I've heard that it's super feminist, really involved and interesting in terms of like decision making. And it has an anime aesthetic, which I am yeah, you know, super a big cute. fan of. So it's super cute. Look, you're a pretty, pretty princess. Yeah, I'm a pretty, pretty princess. And you know what? That's great. I have played this game before, and I know that it's a fucking brutal game. So I'm really excited to give no hints and heavily imply things. Oh no, you're not gonna you're not gonna help me and everyone else out. Well, I'll just uh, you know we'll just see how it goes, you know. And if you need help, then I can kind of be your be your navi. But otherwise, oh, no, <laughs> yeah. don't do that. Don't do that. All right, let's okay. start this out. You ready? Yeah. Let's start. Ooh, that's pretty. I like the back. All right. Jocelyn, King and Dowager, Duke of Caloris. Duke of Caloris. We're what? almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. Just click. Do I do? Okay. Yeah, you just click. <laughs> Elodie, Crown Princess. <laughs> but I'm, I'm reading, I'm interpreting that as... <laughs> sigh. Small sigh. Small sigh. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. Every subject? Ooh. Wow. Good parenting. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly, and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. Mm. That's rude. This is not what mother would have wanted. Oh, she's so pissed. <sighs> she wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. Stop being an. Uh, I'm no. Sorry. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. He's good. He's got a good head on his shoulders. All of Nova depends on us, on you. It's a lot of pressure for. A, I don't know how old she is, but she doesn't look very old. Sigh. Ooh, the first one was short sigh, but that the one's long a long sigh. sigh. I will be here to guide you until your coronation. But the decisions you make are ultimately. <laughs> Up to you. I like the the voice you've chosen for him because he's such. He looks like <laughs> yeah, he would have a he really He looks like delicate... he's supposed to be like this. Yeah. But no. Come, <laughs> your maids are waiting. It's kind of like um like Ian Curtis. I always he's like a pretty scrawny like looking small guy, and it always trips me out to know that he has like you know from Joy Division. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. It always. Like, Come, your maids nope, are nope, waiting. Nope. <laughs> no, that's not. That's not. That's not. <laughs> okay, sorry, everyone. Tell me um, more. Tell them to tell you more. Okay. Because you have not played this before. Oh, look at how sad and vulnerable she is. You will be controlling Elodie, the almost queen of Nova, as she tries to prepare for her coronation. To do that, she needs to take classes every week in order to raise her skills. Skills. Ooh, skills. Pay the bills. Right here. Yeah. The skills she learns will provide different choices in the ongoing plot. Learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death. Oh fuck, well we're- good luck us. We don't have a good track record with this kind of stuff right now. You also need to keep an eye on Elodie's mood. With her mother's tragic death, Elodie is not very happy right now. The mood button will take you to the emotion screen for more details. So she's real depressed. Lonely-ish, yield, yielding. Oh, so like passive versus not. Yeah. Um, she's a little afraid. Oh, it's interesting that they put anger and afraid as like um, opposites. Yeah. So it's actually cool. It makes sense. So what they're trying to explain here in the screen is that your strongest emotion will be the dominant emotion that you have. So right now you're a little bit afraid, but you're more depressed, so her emotion is depressed. Okay. If you become more cheerful, then she's gonna change to afraid because that will become her strongest emotion. Okay. 
That makes sense. Oh, it's written there too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we can can we pass through this? We got this right. It affects her ability to learn, basically. Okay, much like in real life, skills are broken into four main categories: social, physical, intellectual, and mystical. Inside these categories are skill sets, groups of three related skills. You start with zero in all skills. Oh, look at all these categories. Yeah, so click. Yeah, so. Another really important thing about this is that her mood affects what skills she can learn and how fast she can learn them. So when she's depressed, for example, she does really poorly in conversation skills. You can see the minus two there next to conversation in the upper left. But she's much better, or a little bit better, at expression. So when she's depressed, she wants to make art. Like, make... <laughs> yeah. Wait, is there an art thing over here? Expression. Decoration, oh, expression. instrument, voice. Cool. Yeah. Do we get to hear her play music? No. Oh. No. This is purely algorithmic. Okay. Basically. Okay, so we got that. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. yeah. I can tell you all this stuff. Don't worry. Um, there's a lot. Okay. The classes screen breaks down the skill set by category for your morning and evening classes. When you select a skill set, the three options in the set will appear on the right side of the screen. Yeah. Okay, so, there's so a yeah, lot you of... get to choose what kind of medicine, you get to choose what kind of history, right? Right. So okay. there's a lot of going in between the skills section and the classes section to figure out which skills are going to be the best to gain and mm -hmm. which classes are going to be the best to take and for what mood you're in. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of a lot of strategizing around that and it's really important to pick the right classes and to predict the things that you're going to need to know, you know? So that you won't kill your character. Yep. Okay. How many times do you think we'll kill her before this is over? I mean, you're going to die. I died a few times before I actually succeeded in this game. You can't attack anyone in this game, can you? Well, it's like a visual novel, so I, I, that it depends. I know, I, I was just... It depends know. on how the story <laughs> goes, you know? Okay. Can I skip all this? Yeah, well, Bubbles will show you when, you know, mm -hmm. and, and when you fail or succeed at a test of a skill, it'll show you, you know? All right, we're ready to become a queen. All right. All right, week one. So the kind I of skills. Go to skills. You know she's depressed. She's depressed and has no skills. <laughs> but she has That's bonuses rough. in expression and animal handling. Okay. Aww, I want to handle animals. Mhm. Mm Horses, dogs, and fal. Ooh, let's do falcons. Sure. Can we do that? So we go to classes. Uh huh. But is falconry really going to be helpful? Is it helpful for communicating with other people? Oh, that's the question, isn't it? I know. It? I don't know now. Or expression. She doesn't really have any good opinions to express other than she's depressed, which, you know, is arguably a good opinion, but I don't think it's going to help her not die in this case. One piece of advice that I'll give you is that the skills should... is that the mood should serve the skills and not the skills the mood. So if you're feeling a certain way and you get bonuses in certain things, mm -hmm. you shouldn't learn those things just because you have bonuses in them for the week. You should figure out what you want to learn, and then there's going to be options for you to do stuff to <coughs> change your mood such that you can build those skills. Okay, so right now I'm like, all right, I want to have athletic skill be improved because I think that she wants to learn how to climb so she can climb away from her enemies who will soon be attacking. But it's so, minus one. Yeah, exactly. So in that case, I would want to go and just like do something to make her happy so that I could then try to build those skills. Right. Yeah, it depends on what emotion... Like, And, and the game doesn't tell you what emotions make you better or worse at what skills. I mean, we can look that up if you want to, nah. or you can just like... All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just like, gonna wing it for yeah, now. Let's do it. that. Okay, so, um, so I want to go to classes. And then take a class in one of these things? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm really into falconry as a as a concept, so I think I'm gonna have her do falconry. Evening class. Oh that's evening, so we want daytime. Well, yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Hunting. I'm such a bad vegetarian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. 
Okay, um, evening class category. You're killing all those virtual animals. I know. Um, oh crap. Okay, so then the other thing she could do is expression. Uh, yeah, maybe not. What do you think? You're part of this team, buddy. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, one thing that you should know is that the um, green skills usually help her if she's kind of in danger. Mm -hmm. The red skills help her if she's in a social situation. Mm -hmm. And the blue skills help her if she's in a policy situation. Like if somebody asks right. her about so, a specific point of policy. I'm going to do history. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do foreign affairs. Sure. Because I feel like that's important to know if you're, yeah. if you're a ruler or going to be a ruler. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so then I do done? Uh-huh. Cool. Ooh, she increased her falcon skill. Good job, and it also Alex. gives you little tidbits, but I usually skipped over those when I played it. Because who's got time for that, you know? Oh, I think it's cute. I know. It's good. Okay. She's learning real things. That's nice. Oh, but this is important. Maybe not for us. Yeah. She kind of automatically knows it when she's in a conversation with somebody. So it's, like, good for us to know, but it's also kind of like, all right. Oh, look. Oh, now she has to interact with people. Oh, no, she has to interact with her family. That's rough. I'm sorry. Oh, she dude. loves it, though. Look at her. Oh, no, she's, she's happy. She's happy. <laughs> Yay, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. Oh, wow, her aunt's really hot. Sorry. Yeah. Countess <laughs> of Nix. Darling, we are so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Fidelia. Like, Fidelity. Ugh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Thank you. Oh, look at her. Ooh, look Laurent, at that facial hair. Duke of Merva, you look well, niece. Wow, he looks he looks like he's seen better days. Yeah, that's true. Oh, sh oh Charlotte. Hello. Hi, Lodi. <laughs> Not the nickname I would choose for that name. They're bros. Don't even worry about it. Hi, Lottie. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yup. Mommy said we'd be here all month. Oh, good. Oh, she's happy now, which means she's cheerful. afraid. Oh, it's rough. Well, she's not afraid quite yet. She I think her be. fear outranks her afraid. So, you, so now you can look at your mood mm -hmm. and then see what actions you want to do over the weekend to affect your mood. Okay. So we're slightly less depressed. We're still a little afraid. Everything else is pretty chilling. I mean, so we're depressed. I know that negative emotions seem like they'd be bad to do, but sometimes they're really good to do. Like, oh, like, make her more depressed. Or, like, make her more, um, like, lonely, so she'll seek to, like, I don't know. I had a... I mean, clearly, right now, what you want to like, do Like, if you want is... to attack someone, you want her to be pissed off. Because that's going to be more effective. Well, if you wanted to learn about combat, you want her to be pissed off. Yeah. Okay. So that... Okay, I got it. So she can either play with toys and be, like, kind of isolated. You don't know what happens with Charlotte... Um, talk to dad. Fuck him. He doesn't understand our angst. <laughs> Parents just don't understand. <laughs> Let's go visit our friend Charlotte. She looked really happy. Oh, she's so positive. She loves her room. Yeah, she's so she's so ganky. And now we're at, yeah, she is. Aw. Okay, we should probably read this. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? You can be Charlotte, really. My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. I understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. Aww. It's like frozen. I know. It's rough. Am I going to cry? But at least we can have fun together here. Plus one oh, cheerful. Oh, you got cheerful. Now Good you're, job, I think Melody. you might be afraid now. Yeah, uh, you're now afraid. Now I'm terrified. Now I'm just like, oh, what is this happiness I'm feeling? All right. Day two. Next time. It'll be happening. Yeah, thanks for bearing with us through that. You'll have it. It'll be going on. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.